This is the most valuable part of Syria. The Americans occupy the, the yellow zone. What the Americans want to do is connect everything that they occupy. So this whole yellow zone, they want to bring that all the way down here. You see where my cursor is? To the Al Tanf border crossing. There's a whole axe. There's an entire axe on the map that the Americans want to chop up, divide and conquer, divide and rule. Look at, look what, look at what I'm talking about. You see here? There's an axe here going all the way from Iran to Iraq to Syria to Lebanon to Palestine. Okay? The Americans want to isolate these countries. Why? Because if you do that, if you isolate Syria from Iraq, no more weapons for the resistance are going to come from Iran into Syria, uh, to Hezbollah in Lebanon, and to Hamas and the uh, rest of the Palestinian resistance. You know, right now, um, the, the other concern also is that Iran just joined BRICS, right? Iran joined the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. So again, BRICS are the largest emerging economies in the world. Uh, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. And Iran joined, joined the Belt and Road Initiative and signed a 25-year partnership uh, with China. The, all, all these three things happened in the last two years, in the, in the last 24 months. Iran is becoming a huge player. Iran is a big player already uh, on, on the world scene, okay, on the world stage. Iran signed a, a railway deal with Iraq. So you're going to have a railway now that connects the two. By doing this, by, the, by, by connecting Al Tanaf with Deir Zor, the Americans will make sure that the, the resistance axis is cut in half and that Iran has no pathway to the Mediterranean Sea for its economy. And China, China as well, has, has no path to the Mediterranean Sea through Iran and through Asia, like the old traditional Silk Road, right? You, you guys remember the Silk Road? This is the most infamous it is the trade route of human civilization, right? I mean, look at that. And, and China is trying to revive that uh, by, by creating the new Silk Road. You see how Damascus is right there is one of the major points um, in the Silk Road. And of course, you have Aleppo and, and Palmyra that are also major uh, trading points. So, you know, it's not just China. Like, it's not China that's going to run this. All these countries benefit. That's the whole point, Right. All these countries benefit from this trade. And by doing this, you make sure China, you know, the Belt and Road Initiative does, cannot work because there's no land bridge. The railway between Iran and, and, and Iraq also won't be able to go any further. Uh, you know, Iran won't have any access to the Medi Mediterranean Sea for, for economic purposes. Um, and like I said, the resistance axis, you know, when, when it comes to Syria, Hezbollah, Palestine, all cut off, all cut off. So do you understand why this is so important right now that the Americans, in their, in their mind, it's so important for them right now to calm the situation between the Arab tribes and the Kurds because they need them to play ball in order for them to chop up the resistance axis, in order for them to connect Al Tanaf with Deir Ez Zor. Okay, again, look at the map. When you come here, you see where my mouse is? When you, you go all the way down here to Al Tanaf, you cut Syria off from Iraq, completely isolated, no way through.